Welcome friends. Today we have a fun project. We are taking these Dollar Tree pumpkins. We're sanding them down and filling in the gaps so they're nice and smooth to prepare them to make three high-end pumpkins. Now that the pumpkin is sanded down, we're gonna fill it in with modeling paste. The modeling paste I'm using, I bought off of Amazon. However, you can buy modeling paste by Artist Law at Michael's for a cheaper price. Other materials that could be substituted for the modeling paste are air dry clay, drywall mud, or a cooked flour and water recipe that's often used for paper mache. Whichever filler you choose, it can be smoothed down with a sponge or your fingertips and water. All three pumpkins include acrylic paints, and we're using a combination of variations of black, silver, and gold. On our first project, Luba is painting the entire pumpkin with black acrylic paint. Here's a helpful tip when painting the pumpkin with acrylic paints. You can stick a skewer into the stem and place it upside down in a cup so that way it has the chance to dry and you can paint everything at once. Now that the black paint has dried, Luba is painting the stem with gold. Then she's going with silver on top and gold on the bottom of the pumpkin. Notice how the black paint shows through it. It has a nice shimmer appeal to it. And this will be the base for the next part, which is adding the gold leaf and some of this will show through the next part as well. The next part consists of adding an imitation gold leaf to the entire pumpkin. The gold leaf comes in packets of 100 that cost about six cents a piece, so it's about $6 per packet of gold leaf, and you can buy that off of Amazon. All of the materials that we're using can be found underneath the video where it says more. Just click on that and it'll take you to our materials and supplies. The piece that we're using to apply the gold leaf is Mod Podge. We're using a gloss Mod Podge that's three parts Mod Podge to one part water. We do want to thin it down a little bit so it's easier to apply the gold leaf. Once the Mod Podge is applied to the silver part of the pumpkin, we will let it dry for a good 10 to 15 minutes or until it's tacky. Like a piece of scotch tape, you don't want it too wet, otherwise it can become really messy and ruin your gold leaf. Luba is adding a rose gold imitation gold leaf to the top. The sheets come in about three inch squares you can pick it up gingerly and apply it or use the paper that separates the sheet and use that to apply it. That way you can apply the whole sheet at once. Now she's applying Mod Podge to the bottom part, the gold part, and adding silver gold leaf to the bottom so that way there is a variation at the top and the bottom. Some of those colors are gonna show through throughout. Even if I want the entire pumpkin to be made out of gold leaf, I want to paint the base so that the gold leaf has something to grab onto. Once the gold leaf is applied to all sections, you want to smooth it down with your hands. You can actually kind of burnish it with your fingertips. You don't have to use any other special tools to do so. It's really fun to work with and it comes in a variety of colors. You can buy packets of imitation gold leaf in 30 different colors. Now that the silver gold leaf is applied, she's adding black gold leaf to the stem. Now this is one way to finish the stem. Near the end, I'll show how you can make an entirely different stem, which I end up doing on all three projects. Look at how beautiful this pumpkin is combined with natural elements. The more you make, the cheaper they are. If you need to make a lot of them, you can make them for about $3 per pumpkin. This comes in handy for fall weddings, special events, and parties. For our next project, I'm using acrylic paints and a sign to make a cute little pumpkin with lights. This is the fastest one out of all three. You can make your own wooden signs out of letters like this that you can get at Walmart. I'm taking a sign that says Spirit on it. I got the Dollar Tree and I'm tracing around it with a permanent marker so that the width of the sign matches the width of the hole on the pumpkin. The height of the hole is larger than the height of the letters to allow more light to shine through. Now I'm taking a professional hot knife to cut out the hole. An X-Acto knife works just as well. In fact, I recommend it because using the hot knife can smoke 
and release toxins into the air. Once the hole is cut out, I am sanding the edges. I am painting the sign and the pumpkin completely black. Once the black has dried, I'm taking some gold paint and I'm dry brushing it on top, which means that I'm not using hardly any water. I want to let the black show through and I'm going with the ribs on the pumpkin so it looks more natural. The outside of the pumpkin is painted with gold, including the sign. Then just let it dry, add a light, preferably one on a remote control inside, and I just stuck the sign inside so I could take it out and pull out the light. This project would look great stacking three on top of one another with three different words. Alrighty, for our third disco pumpkin, we're applying silver paint to the top, gold paint to the middle, and copper paint to the bottom. I actually went in and blended mine, however, that is not important. The most important thing is just to coat everything with a nice layer of metallic paint. We are using real glass for this project. I got my mosaic glass for $6 off of Amazon, and it comes in sheets of silver, gold, and rose gold. To cut the material, you want to bend it backward like this, so it's easier to cut with scissors. You can also stretch it out like this and then cut it on the back side with an exacto knife. To begin this project, I started with the straight line here first so that way it would be fairly straight throughout and I just went over the top. The first row does cover this line right here so that way it won't create any shadows in my final piece. And we just go right here, take the tape off the back side and fill it in. You can see I have a quite a bit of space here. I'm just going to break these apart, stretch them out a little bit. Now that we have our main line established, our rows of mosaic glass extend from that center line going upward and downward. I kind of went up and down a little bit. So if this were considered to be an eye line, it curves upward up here and curves downward down here. Sometimes you can press down a little bit to fit one end too. When pulling this off the back, it's easier to do just a little bit at a time. So that way they don't stick together. There we go. And we're going to continue with this little piece right here to finish our goal. And here's a few clips to show how we added the silver and copper. I absolutely love the way this turned out. This is the heaviest pumpkin out of the three. It has a nice weight to it. It's like the ones you see in the store. If you're making five or more of these, the cost is about $8 per pumpkin. Here's a good look at the stem that we made to go on top. And it was using Model Magic. You can buy this at the Dollar Tree sometimes in the kids section. It's readily available in most craft stores and some of the packages will look like this or like this. This is what it looks like. And when I'm making the stem, I like to roll it up in my hands into a cylinder shape. And I actually start to form this around my finger and get the shape that I want before I add it on. And then I can kind of flatten this out too. And I'm doing my best to get the wrinkles out you just kind of form this on top. Another thing I like to do is either take a skewer or something where you can kind of press in to get the design on your stem. If this is tight enough, it will stick without glue, but you can also glue it on. And that's basically how the stem is made. And at the end, it will look like this. While the model magic is still moist, you can paint it with brown and black paint. We added these stems to all three pumpkins. They look fabulous together and they look great separately. We wish you a gorgeous fall and please stay safe. Check out these fall crafts.